we finally have our application in a place where we can start using more of the router guards. Let's talk about the router guards before we can actually start using them. The first one, which is probably the most prominent one and the one you'll use the most in addition to resolve, is going to be can activate. This makes sure we can actually activate a certain component before we get to it. This will most likely be used with authentication. You can use it for other scenarios if you want to make sure that a person has to have certain authority to activate a certain component. Now we have can activate, we also have child routes, so we also have a can activate child guard. This is easy to apply to the children of a certain route so that we don't have to go ahead and write it for every single component in that child routes. So far both of these are run before we actually activate a component. We have to make sure that either of these returns true before we can actually get to the component and the data inside of that component. What about when we want to make sure that we have all the permissions ready to leave a component? We can use can deactivate and this we'll see when we want to edit our form and we want to make sure that all changes are saved before we leave that form. One of the router guards that we've seen already is resolve and that happens before we actually activate the component. Data is input into that component before it's instantiated. That means we have the data ready to go for us when the component gets activated. And the last router guard is a can load guard and this checks if we can actually load the component. Let's start with the first one. We'll go see how we can use can activate on the dashboard routes. We want to make sure that when we get to the dashboard, they have to be authenticated to get to the dashboard section. In our code, we're going to create a new guards folder underneath the shared folder. And we're doing this under the shared folder because there are multiple different places of our application that would probably use authentication. So we'll create a new folder called guards. We'll create a new file under there called auth guard service. Now guards are a type of service, so that's why we append it with service.ts. As with all services, we're going to import injectable. In addition to that, we want to use can activate, which is one of the router guards, so we'll import that as well. And we'll call the injectable decorator export class, and we'll call this auth guard. We'll implement that can activate interface. Since we implemented the can activate interface, TypeScript is letting us know that we don't have a fully valid class here since we need to actually have the can activate method inside of our class. Can activate, we'll create that. And right now, let's just console log something. I am checking to see if you are logged in. And we'll return true. Since it's a service and we want to use it in our application, we need to register it in the app module. We're doing this at the high level app module. This auth guard may be used in different places around our application and not just the dashboard. Perfect. Now we have access to it. How do we actually use this guard? Just like we use the resolve guard inside of the router, we're going to use this guard in the dashboard router. We'll import it to use it. Then for the route that we want to make sure that is protected with guarding, we'll do can activate and we'll pass in an array of auth guard. The reason we can do an array is because we can actually do multiple different guards in here. So let's say we wanted to do an auth guard or if you wanted to check if your user had a certain role, you could do like an editor guard or an admin guard. Let's just make sure that gets console logged out. Let's go to the about route, open up the console, 
and nothing happens in here, let's go to the dashboard, we can see that the auth guard is working for us. And that happened before the dashboard route got instantiated and brought into our application. We'll go to manage users and notice that as we're going through the dashboard section, we're not getting checked if we're logged in or not. This is because we only applied the auth guard to this homepage route for the dashboard. Let's take this a step further and do the can activate child guard. We're going to use the same auth guard. We have can activate. Let's bring in can activate child. And we'll implement that as well. And since we implemented it, TypeScript wants us to use the method here. We'll copy these two. Now we have the can activate child method on our auth guard. Let's go ahead and use that in our router. For all of the child routes under users, let's make sure that these all have to be authenticated. We'll do can activate child here and we'll pass in auth guard. Now Angular will know to go and make sure that we look at only that can activate child method inside of the auth guard. Let's take a look. Checking child route access. And every time we hit a new route under the children, it'll go ahead and check that as well. Let's go back to the dashboard and we get that other can activate. And you can see that it's very easy to start adding login authentication and checks for your application using the guards.